Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and I wanted to talk about some of the settings that you might want to consider checking out once you move on to the November 2019 update. But also, these are settings that sometimes change when they are actually, uh, you're moving yourself from one feature update to another feature update. So it's kind of important to know that this happens. So uh, one of them concerns what I call sometimes more of a nuisance than anything else. And it's notifications about tricks or suggestions that sometimes almost look like ads in Windows 10. And also uh, welcome experience uh, information after updates, stuff like that. You might want to not get any notifications of these things. So if you do, uh, one suggestion is to go into your settings. In your settings, you will go into system. And on the left side, go to the notifications and actions. And you can actually remove the check mark for get tips, tricks and suggestions. Uh, also the one for show me the Windows welcome experience after updates and occasionally when I sign in to highlight what's new and suggested. Now that's dependent on you because uh, if there's a major update, that shows you what's new in that major update. I'll keep it because this machine is uh, right now kind of in the middle of a, uh, I don't know where, around <laughs> the November 2019 update, but you might want to remove that uh, for sure. You can even remove, you know, get notifications from apps and other senders here, which will even make this a lot more general to everything if you don't want to have all of that information there. And, um, and at the same time, you can look at the different uh, options because some of them might change. So like show notifications on the lock screen. Do you have, do you want to have notifications on your lock screen? Uh, show reminders and incoming voiceover IP calls on the lock screen. Uh, allow notifications to play sound. If you don't like to have sound, you just want to have a notification, you can remove the check mark. And, uh, you know, might as well, while you're there, check out which apps actually send you notifications that you might not want to have on your uh, computer. So just check out which uh, apps you don't want to have, um, you know, using your different uh, apps. Remember that some apps from your Android phone, for example, if you use your phone and you sync everything, actually have the ability to actually uh, send notifications. So you can actually uh, check out and uh, turn on or off the notifications of different apps while you're here, basically. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.